to me but by my parents. Know, would you, would She's entitled to her opinion. Would you consider it wrong if I told her, darling, wear dresses, not a t-shirt? No, Can't we that's take it as easy as that? But I would also I say, but you know, Shah Rukh, I'm not comfortable. No, We'd have a discussion have, about it. Yeah, yeah, once again, let me just hear some more voices. Only Dr. Nag, give me a second. There are lots of voices here. I just want to get some of them. Uh, my mom doesn't wear a hijab. And I remember that when my sister entered her tent, uh, she's my elder sister, so she opted to wear a hijab because she wanted to wear it. <coughs> Unfortunately, she was f she did not she was not accepted by the society where we live in and there used to be continuous query about it that as to why she wearing a hijab in fact all the society used to think that my mom has become very very strict with my sister so you're saying your, so your mother doesn't yeah, wear that, one but your sister wore one of free will yeah, yeah that, that, but that's the society that I would accept as free will yeah. you want to stand up and just make your point then I go back to the panel you know see the point is she wore a uh, she decided to take the hijab after her 10th standard did anyone ask her why and if people were being curious about it, I mean, it's natural. If you've seen someone growing up in front of you and her mom doesn't wear a hijab and suddenly she decides to don one, you are going to worry, right? It's like, what's happening? Why is she doing this? Okay, one second, one second. That's the operative part. You are going to worry. Hang on, guys. Hang on. One second. <laughs> we'll go back to the panel. You want to say something? Yeah, why would you worry? I mean, if yeah. tomorrow if I start wearing Western clothes, will you worry about my psychological effect? I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, she's saying she used the wrong word. But there's some serious questions at the heart of this, and I want to go back to the construction of that image. Uh, Karan, when you as a filmmaker want to portray a Muslim, uh, how important was it for you when you were projecting Shah Rukh, and you obviously had a lot of things to say about religion, to make him a practicing Muslim, as Dr. Nayak calls it? We were very clear from the very beginning that there was... Rizwan Khan, to me, is a... Is, a, is somebody who professes humanity and is not carrying Islam on his sleeve. Only in pray, when he prayed in reverence, he wore the cap. But there was nothing Islamic about his look. Because for me, he's an ambassador of humanity, not an ambassador of Islam. And I that think the yeah. best line that I've heard in any Bollywood film, when Zareen Wahab as the mother says, there are no good Hindus and bad Hindus, there are no good Muslims and bad Muslims, there are good human beings and bad human beings, and that is the whole point. I congratulate you, sir. There are fissures, there are fault lines in our society, and we are trying to navigate them here. And Najib, since you said, who are these images? These are not, these are not the people that most Muslims would recognize. I'm sort of interested in the construct of that image. Where does it come from? I am also very concerned at these images. How that image has come? Partly it has come from the deprivation of the Muslim society and the ghettoization of Muslim society and their desire to hang out together. It comes from Muslims not getting homes in places, moving into ghettos and then surviving in their own little dens. There is where it happens. It also happens, much thanks to, I mean we have two doens from the film industry here, that the image of Muslims that have been done, this pan chewing fellows, you know, always saying adab and so on and so forth, and this kabbal, is not so. But a large number of these images have come from this. But that's now, no longer the case in modern cinema. The projection of uh, Islam has completely changed. This used to be a case in the 70s and 80s, and I do take blame yeah. for, as a representative of the yeah. movie industry, but it's yeah. not the case anymore. But, uh, Shah Rukh, is there an image of your community in images around you that has bothered you, maybe not today, but growing up or whatever, where you no, didn't no, recognize so, yourself. Something is bothering me now yeah. that, you know, we are discussing so much and actually I completely agree with Madhani Sabha. Are we talking about just the look of Muslims? Is it not a deeper thing than that? No. I think it is a much deeper thing. I, mean, I mean, if it's just a simple thing, you know, we're discussing so much about the fact that we should have our dadi, skull cap, should have a hijab, that we should have a worry. Uh, I, I, I'm just feeling that is it only a matter of look? I don't think so. No, of course I it's think, not. Yeah, it is not. Of course so it's not. I think not. we should go beyond that. Not here only. I'm just talking as generally in, in the world. That all these things are left. If a French Prime Minister has a problem with hijab, it is. I think this, what is a lunatic fringe has begun to represent our community. But that's what I wanted to talk and about. There, and that, that definitely films and media is to blame. Yeah. That lunatic fringe is represented in the media because the non-lunatic mainstream is not. Yeah, it's not because exotic. it's not. Yes, but where is the Muslim, the moderate Muslim, got a leader who's speaking out against them? Where is today's Jinnah? Where is someone who, by the Today way, I, Jinnah created yeah. Pakistan. Jinnah was the most secular person you could ever meet in his personal I happen life. To play, in his personal play, life. But no, to the Pakistan First Assembly 
It was a completely so okay. Let's no not debate, Jina, but you raise the important question there is of no where Muslim is that leader? leader? And Shahrukh is right in saying go beyond the image. And I come Absolutely. to you. Absolutely, I would like to know. मुझे लगता है कि मंदी साम मैं नहीं मानता था. सच बता रहा हूँ मैं. आपके सामने हूँ. मैं अगर इनको ऐसा देखूं तो ये मेरी भी गलती है कि मैं नहीं समझता शायद मदनी साहब मॉडरेट या लेस प्रैक्टिसिंग या मोर प्रैक्टिसिंग मुस्लिम बॉटम लाइन इज दैट वी वेदर हाउ एवर ही लुक्स आई हैव टू गिव हिम अ चांस व्हाट बोथ कबीर एंड अलेक हैव रेज अबाउट द फ्रिंज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द द बल्क एंड डॉक्टर नाइट लेट्स कम टू देम की क्वेश्चंस गोइंग बियॉन्ड द इमेज ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट देयर इज देयर आर स्टिल क्वेश्चंस रेज्ड अबाउट फंडामेंटलिस्ट थॉट नॉट दैट नॉट दैट समबडी इज अ मुस्लिम एंड इज अ टेररिस्ट but that somebody sympathizes with the cause for example when you are questioned and, and i know because you deal with live audiences all the time about groups like the taliban groups like the al qaeda groups like the lashkar e taiba <coughs> how do you resolve those questions what is osama bin laden say mean thing what i say that i cannot base my answer on the media because uh, if you ask me how is bin laden if i have to give my answer based on bbc cnn it will be against the quran quran says you mean you still have doubts about osama bin laden Yes. Why? I'll tell you why. I have my doubts because Quran says. That's a really provocative thing to say, and some would say would deeply it. stereotype. Why? Because I have seen the DVDs produced by the 75 scientists of America. They say it is impossible for few Arabs to come and do the twin tower. I have seen because I'm a man who travels throughout the world. Come on, Doctor Nai. Come, come on, Doctor Nai. And I have seen many DVDs, and I can give it to you if you see the loose change. Yes. If you see 9/11, what I have done, I am a man of research. and quran says when you get the information check it up before you pass on to the sect i am not okay. saying bin laden is a terrorist or a saint i say i don't know because the proof that has been given i have got count to prove by the other you haven't seen his al jazeera videos of course i've seen huh? that's, that's not evidence <laughs> uh, i think i'd gone to malaysia there was a couple who were doctor who went to malaysia and they told that you know people normally say that the taliban the taliban are beating the women so she told me I'm sure, the gynecologist. Those people can't be Taliban. I said, why? I thought they were Taliban. They said, I've been in Afghanistan. The way the Taliban tied the turban, the people that were shown on natural geography, people that were shown on BBC and CNN, they can't be Taliban because the turban were not. But, but then you know, there is no end to conspiracy no, theory. But there is a deeper, so there is a deeper, there is a deeper problem here. Sir, there are so many millions of people, and I, I want to say this to you with no offense. There are so many millions of Muslims who follow you, who hang on every word you say. and you are saying this to them najib is there a danger that, in that that's the reason i cannot say something wrong i'm not saying is the same I, because i've got okay, no okay, proof okay okay you made your point you made your point najib and then madni saab on this must intervene because i think sabai deni padegi madni saab bhi sabai nahi saab kahenge uski sabai madni saab ko hi deni padegi unse aur unse nahi le sakte nahi unse bhi lungi unse bhi lungi but i would normally say this but as a muslim i think that this argument has gone to a 